Hey guys, it's Fainesia, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes three, not three, oh my god, <laughs> episodes five and six of season three of Working. <laughs> so, real, I think it's time on episode five is three, two, one, go. Yeah, but still, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you are letting it bother you. God, can you come clean my house? <laughs> Specifically, my room, even though it is clean. I mean, all. Oh, just mm, you want to set up my furniture too and fix my table? Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. You were all the way back there. Come here. My thigh. On my thigh. No, don't bark at me. Come here. Okay, now you lick my hand. My thigh. My dog is hurt. Come here. Hello, puppy. Cody. Where are you? You must have left. <laughs> this dog. Okay, please love it so much. And yeah, she don't talk to her about their day in these two episodes, or at least half another <laughs> another day. But I just need someone. No. <laughs> ah! He's depressed. Oh. Yes. His not girlfriend, you know. Great. But still, even though, yes, so tough. So sad. <laughs> I just want to be sad as I mean, you know, yeah. Oh my god. Like what? Yes, yeah, so he is one of those types of people. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, maybe you guys should just have an intervention with him and just talk it out. But I do I really think he's going to listen to you guys? No. Why are all the boys in this freaking series so damn pretty? Like, I can't. Oh, he's me. In a way, they're kind of like chicken. 
Shigure and his like, like stop. Shigure and his um I don't know the word. I know the word, but I guess I remember right now. Not producer, but like the person who, you know. <laughs> like her reviewer and ish, and how, like, no matter what, like, she would always postpone and she would have to come to the house. But, like, it's time to give me your book. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a man. <laughs> Well, okay. Uh, oh, that was so good. Maybe he should be stressed all the time, you know? He needs to play the good news. Well, he's upset about what my hero said. Not his girlfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because he makes like uh, these like extravagant meals. Oh, he's you're still gonna cook? He's me. That's right. Hello, Allie. Yeah, because, you know, no matter what, even if she did work today, I don't think she would have talked to you. I mean, it is awkward between you two now, so... Mm -hmm. Poor baby. And eh, she's fine. Can you imagine if that was not her? Like, <laughs> oh, good job. And he's the, she's the pretentious girlfriend. Even though they're not babies. Uh. But the piece of me don't know that. <laughs> oh my god. It is. Yeah. Oh, this might be the best blind date ever. <laughs> I can't make someone cry so bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, so she should be here. Yeah, you can. Oh, don't worry, you're gonna need him. 
No, don't throw it away. Keep it. Keep. Yeah, you better keep that now. Are you gonna text her? What's up, is me? No, today. <laughs> this boy, I can't. <laughs> You know, that sounds like Mahi <laughs> Don't believe. It's gonna be a little awkward, you know, once you find out who it is, but. Hopefully, you guys, because of this situation and the fact that he wants these two to me. Oh. You better fucking go. It'll be fine. No, you won't have to apologize. Are you sure about that? Because you know, speak the devil. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> she, she got the effect of your arm. Oh my god. She don't kill her. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Mm. Oh.
What's up? Put two and two together. You got this. And you're talking to him. I think you figured it out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I mean, you just spilled the beans on everything. <laughs> yeah. Chips, maybe? Okay, see, thank you, Sato san. Yeah, because you must think that he's something good about me. No. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I don't even know what in the world to do with her sometimes. I love her to death. <laughs> this girl. Oh, we know you do. Mm. But, okay, so do you not want anything that's in the same family as the Nato Bean? Do you want? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And now she's in love with it again. <laughs> you no, know, she's not really done because she's now gone back into her phase. <laughs> yeah, but she just got back into it. Spongebob episode, but Spongebob endures. <laughs> oh, God, I can't. And next thing you know, she'd be like, take it away now. <laughs> I need to stop.
Mm-mm. Well, look, now you have the time to ask her about the ish from last week. Put two and two together. It's you. If they don't get this, I swear to God. You. Yes. Yes, you did. She's the most comfortable around you. I mean... How long has it been she's pun since she's punched him? So like what season two? <laughs> He's so cute and he blesses. Oh my god. Wait, no. Oh. You guys are being like Yachido and Sato. Come on. <laughs> it was a good date, though. I mean, awkward in the beginning. <laughs> You just like nuke it. <laughs> I mean, this girl came with a damn paper bag and some gloves. <laughs> she was going for the kill. Like, oh my god. Imagine if she came with brass knuckles instead of gloves. Oh shit. Like, the soul would have been dead by the end of the episode. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god he's figured it out that she likes him. Oh my god. But it's only really because of the fact is she literally just like gave him the answer right there. And you know, it kind of sucks. But I don't know how how to feel about this. I don't know what's going to happen next, but still, I, we need to now go back to uh, Sachi and Yachido and specifically how they feel after that hug. We, we did that last week, but I need it again. I need to see if they've, like, you know, what else have they done since this episode? Some will probably still don't know Jack-ish about that date. And I just, like, need to see it. Like, let, let them go on another date, please. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I can't even imagine what that would taste like. I, I've never had natto, but like I, from what people have told me, they say it's pretty good. But I, I mean, Yamada and her natto, if I had to choose between eating that and sershaming, I would rather eat the sershaming because yes, sershaming has like the nastiest smell ever. And I'd be like, look, it's one and done. It Because see with Yamada, and I'm going to be real straight about this, 
Y'all better will expect anyone to eat the whole freaking thing. If I just got to eat one freaking sashimi and not the whole can, I'll be like, all right, go ahead and cut it up. Give me one little piece. And that's it. Mission accomplished for me. I don't even like the smell of sashimi. It's like, oh, mm -mm. <laughs> no, but I don't know if I can do it. Uh, well, you know, see, unless you give me money. And not no, like, $15, $20, $100. You need to give someone big behind money to either eat Yamada's Nato or Sir Strong because, mm, I know there are probably some people who would eat specifically Sir Strong like, it's nothing. Or, like, Vegemite, like, it's nothing. I've never had Vegemite, but I've smelt it before. And I'm like, what is this? I know people in Australia love it on toast, but I was like, mm, no, I'm good, no, thank you. I know. But, I mean, you never know. But still, I, I don't know about Yamada. Yamada seems like the type of person who's just like, yeah, I'm going to put all this in here, mix it up all together, yeah, eat it all, yeah, I like it. <laughs> You'd be like, mm -hmm. when she's not like, what the hell did I just put in my mouth? I thought we would have had, like, so much, like, eat maybe a bite. It would be, like, Persona 4 the animation. <laughs> when you ate bringing Yuki Ghost to... <laughs> when you ate Yuki Ghost curry and he nearly died. <laughs> Moral of the story is, get you somebody that cook. I cook. I, I'm really good at cooking, but, like, mm, I, I've met, like, so many guys and so many people who are my friends who don't know how to cook, and I'm like, what is wrong? I, I want to help them so bad. Like, I literally want to help somebody, like, cook one good meal and be like, you did it. Like, round of applause, baby. <laughs> A good episode, but still, I feel like going into episode six, we're gonna have a little bit of <clears throat> still awkward moments between So and Mahiro, which is okay because they're still trying to figure themselves out and where they could possibly take this relationship. Yes, of course, she's still mad at him, and So is still mad at Mahiro for the, the idiot comment. So, I, honestly, I have no idea what the hell could happen next, but. Yeah, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. Nope, I'm going to do it again, because I did not press it right. In three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Twizzlers, orange cream Twizzlers, if you ever go to the store, don't get orange cream simple twitters. They are twizzlers. These, I thought they were going to be good. They are disgusting. The biggest thing that I've ever had. But it is. But yes, you ever. Go anywhere. Don't get these. Do not. If you get Twizzlers, just get the regular old cherry strawberry. Best freaking flavors. Rainbow ones are okay, but the orange creamsicle. No. I wish I could go back in time and tell myself, no, you idiot. Don't get the orange creamsicle. I mean, because I ate like one and then my mom tasted one and she was like, no. I mean, because, like, the, the, the licorice itself is good, but the cream, I cannot describe to you what the cream tasted like. You know how, like, a, a regular orange creamsicle, like, freaking ice cream cone, it'll have orange and vanilla? The cream inside that did not taste vanilla-y. I'm like, what is this? And it's worse when you eat something else and then you're like trying to eat candy. So if you eat like a cookie 
and then maybe like one or two pieces of candy, like all you still taste is the can of freaking cookie and not the candy. <laughs> but it's it's nasty. Don't get it. Like save yourself. <laughs> That's how you want Oh. Oh. I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That's her niece, her thing. What's up, Soma? <laughs> that you like her? <laughs> I mean, it's so obvious. <laughs> I mean, okay, because, like, come on, let's think about this. Why did you buy the hairpins? Not to, you know, say, hey, I'm sorry. You know, something like, oh, these might look good on you. You don't buy something for someone who's just your friend. Uh, well, unless you're celebrating their birthday. But if you're wanting to continue into a relationship, come on now. Maybe you should talk to... Um, Sato-san. Or Kyoko-san. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the bit surely, even though you're denying your feelings for it, and... <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, and unfortunately for you, there is really no one for you. Well, honestly, I can't even tell you myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no.
No, I, I, I mean, he did something that she liked. Uh-huh. Cause, you know, can't hit girls. <laughs> I mean, and plus, with the situation that happened with Sato and Yashido, they're gonna tell when they're ready. I mean, as of right now, it's been, for me, it's been an episode for them. Well, no, it's been like three episodes now, two, three. But for them, it could have been like, what, just last two weeks ago? <laughs> See, no. Y Yamada, you're just going to want to be like Soma and literally hear information just to like blackmail somebody. <laughs> You're not going to know that easily. There you go. There's a pick me up. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what's bothering her. Is it her tallness again? Wanting to be tall? <laughs> no, I, I I don't think so. Time. Come on. Why don't you just talk about what's wrong? I mean, yeah, that makes anybody feel better. Of course. You say food and Kyoko san is like, hey. <laughs> That's why you were taking the medicine. Well, yeah, because you guys have other things on your mind, and that's okay. What's up? <laughs> that thing <fake> whistle. <laughs> But you look like a bunny with it on. Oh, I don't 
Altså... Sakrosa. Did popular take too much medicine? Yamada, this isn't Kasha's hero. You're not gonna summon Oto-san like that. I mean... <laughs> Yamada, this is Kasha's hero. You're not gonna summon Oto-san like that. I mean... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so, did you find your way? <laughs> Other way around. <laughs> yeah, but because she is so tall, she doesn't look like it. Don't worry. I got the same thing when I was a sixth grader. Or I thought I was in middle school or high school. Yeah, so it's fine. She's just like getting it for her community thing for school. This girl is just having like the weirdest dream ever because she is so high on her freaking <laughs> medicine. Is that supposed to be her magic wand? No, not really. Hell, I'm still waiting for, you know, her actual parents to come and get her. Not only her brother, I'm just saying. Yeah, she is. She can be a little annoying at times, but you know what? That's what everybody loves about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm guessing both both of her parents and her brother didn't have, like, all this time for her. And so she's been lonely for such a long time. And she uses the work family, well, her other co-workers, as her family. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Smurfy anime, oh my god. <laughs> Her magical stick. Uh. <laughs> hmm? 
Your brother? Yeah, stay up there. So you literally have been walking around ever since you got out of school. <laughs> no, I, 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 you don't. <laughs> No, I haven't seen her. Do you tell her that now? Don't, don't go down there. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Girls are not just. Yes. Uh, uh, huh? Uh, no. I'm so yes. Listen to my you do. And you'll find out. <laughs> But 
But the thing is, why doesn't Yamada want to go home? We they technically talked about this in episode of not episode one, season one, but not really. <laughs> of course, Oto will take responsibility for because Oto was the one who found her. So it makes the most sense, but still. Okay. So her older brother and the fact that they finally, after like one other season, which is <laughs> finally made back up. I mean, yeah, it's the most awkward situation between the two. I wasn't expecting it to come in this episode, but we knew that this was gonna happen. That like, not in this episode, but eventually it was gonna happen. I was assuming that. It wouldn't just be her brother, it would be her mom, possibly her father. But now, since you know her other brother, her older brother is leaving, he might come back with her mom. Because, you know, sometimes family members like, will say no, take no without an answer. So, yeah, her parents are going to come the next time, and they're literally possibly going to drag her home. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, who mm -hmm. I really wouldn't want to be in her shoes because she's been gone for how long? Like maybe a couple of months now. That couldn't happen. Could not happen. That wouldn't happen to me. Because as a girl, as a child growing up, I was missing for like a couple of hours because of certain situation that I don't really feel like talking about. But. Oh. Oh, and she's gonna come back. Oh, well, finally, we're gonna end this with Oto san finally finding his wife. <laughs> oh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I feel like it's gonna go one way and then it's gonna go completely different. <laughs> I can't. Bruh. Oh, God. I, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I feel sorry for her. I mean, she's she's made a home and a family with these characters, and I don't think no matter what, going into episode seven, eight next week, she's not going to take a no without an answer. She might end up arguing her brother and her mother and possibly her father down and saying, "This is my family. You guys weren't there, you know, to begin with." So I just said, "You know what? I'm leaving no matter what." I mean, because essentially, yeah, she technically ran away from home to find someone to be in a better in a better family than what she was in. We, like I said, we barely really know anything about Yamada's family and stuff. So hopefully, in next week's episode, we do get something about it because I I truly want to know what in the world is her parents like. Especially, I mean, we technically know how her brother is because we've seen him for so many episodes. But even just that little sentence that you know. The fact that her mom has been busy, that doesn't really tell me enough. I need, like, a whole episode going into the backstory of Aoyamada's family. Just to get that, you know, nice and straight and a nice little neat bow. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 5 and 6 of season 3 of Working. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for everybody else, and next Friday for Patreons for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys!